What is up, Shark Army? It's your boy Sharky back again with another video. Another video. And today we are back in my modded playthrough of Stardew Valley. The last time we played this was 1.3 and I've not been able to get into the save file since then. So I had to stop this uh, the little playthrough series short because the save file was corrupted. All of the new mods was outdated. The 1.4 came out and it completely messed it up. But I've been working so hard to try and get this save file back up and running. And we've done it. We are back with Sharkette in the modded playthrough. And this is going to be fun. Loads of new mods are being added as well as all the other ones. We've got some new people in town that we can check out. And yeah, it's all running fine. There's a few problems I had to deal with, but we're okay. For some reason, we've got to pick our birthday again. We did pick Summer 2nd, which is already gone. It was in the last episode that we recorded, actually. It was Sharkette's birthday, so we'll stick to that. But this time, we can actually pick a favourite gift. So we just missed out on that, but that's fine. Her favourite gift is going to be a green tea. She likes tea, alright? So here we are back again. I think it's been like six months since we've played this, but a lot of you guys have been asking for me to get this back. And it's, I've been struggling to try and get this save file back up and running, but here we go. Suzanne, if you remember in the last episode, if, if you have been following the modded playthrough, uh, basically it's just a playthrough series of Stardew Valley, and we've got tons of new mods in the game, ranging from... New animals, new crops, new seeds, new furniture, new craftables, a, a brand new map, a new pelican town, it's been expanded, new areas to explore, and of course, new NPCs. And here we are, Suzanne. She is the owner of the Emerald Farm up at the railroad, and obviously, we couldn't go up there because uh, it was blocked off, but I think that is being fixed now. I've been trapped up there alone ever since Joja caused the rock slide, so I've got a little bit of a cabin fever. Happy to finally meet you, Shark, yeah? So here she is, the new uh, Suzanne, who um, works at Emerald Farm. She owns it. So we can go by there today and visit her uh, when we have the time. That's going to be perfect. Check out the new area, Emerald Farm. Now, one thing I do need to do before we get into this is some of the seeds have been messed up. As you can see, it says habanero seeds are ready to harvest, gooseberry watermelons. Well, these have all disappeared, and it's going to crash the game if I don't fix this. So... I'm going to get rid of all these, as you can see, the fertilizer and soil stays there, but the seeds are invisible because it's all been updated and changed, and this could run into some problems. So I'm going to get rid of all the seeds that are no longer working. The only problem is, like I say, we'll lose a little bit of money here, but we're fine. We can get back into this. Okay, so all of the broken seeds are now fixed. So these are just the normal seeds in the game. We've got poppies, wheat, tomatoes, etc. So we will need to go and get some new seeds today from the Pierre's general store. But um, that's fine. We can we can deal with that. We did actually manage to get some habanero seeds out of some of the broken ones. So we can plant them straight away. Oh no, they need to be done in fall. We're not even in fall. We are in summer. It is summer the 3rd. Now I totally forgot whereabouts we were in this uh, playthrough series, but... If we take a look at the social tab, these are all the people that we've introduced and met. If you haven't seen this series and you have no idea what this is, go back and look at the playlist. I'll put a link in the description or the top right of the screen. And you can see the whole playthrough from episode 1. There's 12 episodes. This will be the 13th, I believe. So yeah, we've got Pam, Steve, Andy is the new farmer. We've got some hearts for quite a lot of these, actually. Uh, Livia is the new uh, mum in town. We've got Shiko. We've got John, Soren. We've got Lyle, Mona, Denver. The Harvest Goddess has replaced the Wizard, so we now have the Goddess instead of the Wizard, which I think is kind of cool. We've got Sheila, we've got Paul, the local doctor, the new doctor, and now Suzanne. And there's still some more people to meet, but I'm not going to show you because, uh, yeah, it's going to be exciting. Jody wants a cauliflower today. Got to go deeper in the mine. I'm going to water all these crops and we will get cracked on with the day because it's 9.30 a.m. already. We've got to go, oh, we can't go to the store today, it's closed. We've got some mail that we'll read in a second. And we'll go check out Emerald Farm. As you can see, Suzanne is up there. Suzanne's house on Emerald Farm. That is a new place we can go and visit. This is going to be exciting, guys. If you're excited for the modern playthrough to be back, please hit the like button and let me know down below your uh, thoughts on this. Sorry that it's been so long since we played this. Like I said, I just couldn't get into it. The save file was broken. It just kept coming up with a loading screen all the time. It kept crashing as soon as I started the game. And uh, yeah, I've had to go through each and every single mod, updated them, removed some which was completely broken and just wasn't compatible anymore. And it's, it's been a hell ride, but uh, we're finally here, so we need to eat. Our hunger is 56 and our energy is kind of low. Let's eat this, uh, this field snacks. We've not had breakfast today, so let's do this. There we go, one more should be good for the hunger. Up to 100. 
energy is quite good. Let's crack, crack on and water the rest of these. Okay, so that is some of the farm done. We've got some water. We've got some weeds. Butternut squash is drying. We've got salmon berries in the, uh, the dehydrator there. That's going to be awesome. Let's read these letters. We've got potted tulip off of the Ferngill Florist Association. We appreciate your efforts improving in improving life in the valley and will hope you'll accept this gift. Nice. Oh, this, what's this? Dear Sharkette, we'd like to inform you that the Cardia's recipe shop is now open for business. We carry recipe books and rare goods from all over the Ferngills Republic and our stock is always changing, so don't miss out. You can find our stall in the unused ice cream stand in the town every day from 8 a.m. till 7 p.m. We look forward to doing business with you. Samir and Kedhia. Okay, so they work in the ice cream shop when, um, I'm guessing, when it's not summer, which is kind of bad because it's summer now, so. <laughs> Dear Sharkette, how is your work going? As you restore the farm, no doubt you must feel a bit more connected to nature. As, pr as opposed to before you arrived in town, since you've shown interest in a more hands-on approach to living, here's a recipe for, for homemade brown sugar. Now you can really say you're cooking from scratch. Brown sugar recipe. Nice. Thanks, Lewis. Sharkette, this is embarrassing. I lost my lucky purple shorts. Oh, it's that beloved quest that we all love. Let's sort the animals out and then we'll go into town. So we've got some hedgehogs. I remember those. They actually give us a uh, fiddle head fern, right? How do we get that? Exchange for me. Sell. It would love a tree. Oh, do we have to give that as a tree? Oh, we don't have any of them. Eggs? What's, what's all this about? I've got some new mods in here and I'm not sure how they work, but... Um, Oh yeah, the dog. Oh, the dog's changed. So we had Freddo the fox, and that mod doesn't work anymore, unfortunately, guys. That's one that I had to remove, and um, we've had to get another dog. So I've got a French bulldog. He's still named Freddo, of course, but it's just not the fox anymore. That's one sad thing about this series. Freddo the fox is gone. He sucks, but it is what it is. Let's check out stuff on the farm. Um, common mushroom. These are growing. They're not in pots anymore, which is awesome. Tells you when they're going to grow as well. Oh yeah, I forgot we've got the new room down here. The little spa. You walk behind the bush, you get changed, and we can go for a little swim in here, get our energy back up. It's loads better than going all the way up to the spa uh, near the railroad, which was going up there anyway, but this is awesome. I love the fairy uh, spa here on our actual farm. This is great. And look at that, it goes up so fast. Absolutely perfect. I totally forgot about that. We also, guys, have a mod now where we can swim anywhere in any water. We can get changed ourselves. Oh, look, these are just done. Perfect. So, yeah, we can actually go swimming in this game. How awesome is that? I can't wait to show off all these new mods. I'm going to quickly browse around the farm, see what we can find here, and then we're going to go into town. We need to go to Emerald Farm, actually. You know what? Let's go up there now. Oh, look at the forage. We've got salmonberry, got dandelion, horseradish. Beautiful. We need all the food we can get. It's important to eat and drink on this game in this new playthrough. Look at the flowers everywhere. There's Robin and Sebastian. We don't need to talk to them yet. So I have got the mod on where time freezes inside as well. Just because this place is so big now. There's so much to explore, guys. You don't understand. Uh, time goes by super fast. And look at this. Oh my god. So this is Emerald Farm. This looks beautiful. Suzanne uses a unique homemade fertilizer. So there's quite a lot of farms on this now. We've got our own farm, the modded farm. We've got Emerald Farm, and Andy's got Fairhaven Farm as well. And there's a Blue Moon Vineyard. It's incredible. So let's go inside here quickly before it closes. Wow, look at this place. Here she is, Suzanne. I'm thankful Joja cleared the rock slide. Lewis and I went through so much trouble getting them to remove the rocks. Joja refuses to apologize. So if you want to go back and see the last episode, I recommend you do that actually to catch up with this. You'll notice, uh, you'll find out about what happened up at Emerald Farm with Morris, and there's a few cutscenes that got took uh, that happened, letting you know about what was going on. Morris has been a bad boy. I'm thankful Jojo. Oh, it's saying the same thing. Okay. So here we go. Shall we give her a gift? What does she like? Nothing. You don't like nothing. Okay. Or is the is that mod just broken? Okay, here we go. So she likes magic rock candy. Uh, that's a favourite, favourite gifts. It's not going to tell us I liked ones, right? Oh, okay, it works with everyone else. Just broken with Suzanne. Never mind. Uh, maybe she likes a common mushroom? Or a salmon berry? That's very kind of you, thanks. Okay, she likes that, that's cool. This is an awesome place, so we can still see... She lives, literally lives right near the rail station. This is so good. 
The spar is still there, of course. We can go up here now as well. There's so much to explore. Look at this. What is that? Inventory full. Oh, you're kidding me. Let's eat this dandelion. Give us that space. There's lots of stuff here to forage. We've got a rapier. That's a weapon. 1 to 35 damage. The one we've got is 4 to 8. Let's sell that. Ho, ho. We've got a new sword, guys. That is so good. Fiddle Ed Fern. There's some mushrooms here. Oh my god. It's a nice cute little place here. But I don't want to go there because that takes us up to... It says, actually it says question marks. So I'm not sure. I think it's the mountain place right on top. You get the good viewpoint. It's the bathhouse still. Do I have to go in here to unlock the question mark? No. Okay, let's go to the main town. Let's see what's going on. That was awesome though. Suzanne's farm's cool. There's Linus. Living his life. I don't know you well enough to trust you. Sorry. Yeah, mate. Have a salmon berry. No, I don't want to eat it. I want to give it. Thank you. It's a great gift. You are welcome, mate. Oh. Robin's just left the shop. We've got a spice berry here. Got no space for it. There's so much to forage now. Maru's there. Everything pops off in this series now. There's so much going on. Like, literally, every step you walk there's something happening it's, it's insane look how pretty it is there's flowers everywhere We've got some sweet peas we've literally got no space for anything Demetrius is by the new little park area here nice fountain go say hello to him you've probably grown a lot of interesting plants on your farm huh maybe I'll stop by your place and then check it out oh yeah you can't wait to see my farm what's that oh look at this someone's been making wine Pelican Town use the kegs and barrels to turn their produce into wines. It's like a local winery. Okay. We're in the town. Let's see what's going on. What's on the notice board today? Suzanne, we spoke to her today. She actually wants a refined quartz. You know what? We can give her that. We've got some of those at home. We'll see her tomorrow. Alex is here with his dog. Hey, hey, farm girl. I've got a question for you. Do you think I'll ever turn pro? You're destined to be a sports legend. Maybe if you practice a lot, no, you'll most likely fail and become a salesman. <laughs> Let's just say if you practice a lot. Yeah, well, I'm so good, I'm not going to have to practice all that much. Oh, he's so full of, him, full of himself, right? Oh, look, Dusty. We can actually talk to Dusty. You give Dusty many pets. That is so cool. Look at him. You can actually interact with the doggo. Oh, who's this? This is a new person, guys. You have not met this person yet. And this is Delores. Hey, Sharket. Anything new? So this is a new person that we've never met yet. She's came into town since we've been away for a while. And uh, Denver's here just chilling on the wall. It's too hot to do anything. I don't know what you're doing there, mate, but you're definitely broken. Okay, time's frozen and we are in the saloon. Marnie's here, of course, in her little dress. I spilled a whole bucket of milk on the floor today. It was horrible and such a waste of my poor Belinda's hard work. It's nice of you to show up. It's a little more lively now. Oh, yeah, Sharket knows. Oh, got a full speed buff because we've, uh, we're so full on food today. Pam's here. Oh, hey kid, you're too young to be moping around in a place like this. No, I'm not. I am totally not. We got any recipes that we can buy? Some recipes here. We can buy red onions. Look at all the stuff we can get. Shallots. We can get a distillery. Wow. Used to make alcoholic beverages. That is so good. Right, Shane's here. No, I don't have time to chat with you. Whatever, Shane. I don't like you anyway. Lyle's here. Oh my god, his portrait's changed. So this is the new version of Lyle. If you remember him in the previous episodes, he looked a lot different. Um, well, kind of similar, but it's just a new version of it. After a hot day, a cold drink is just what I need. Okay, so what do you like, my friend? Chanterelle mushroom? Sunflower? We can give him a, we can give him a sunflower, right? Let's do it. I've already got... Oh, I've given two gifts this week, of course. I'm so behind with that. Would you ever be interested in coming to the beach with me, Farmer Gill? My name's Charquette. To do what? Well, just lounge around, of course. I mean, sure. Sounds good to me. Let's give you the sunflower. Yay, thanks. This is a nice gift. You are welcome. I'm a very friendly person. Anybody around? No? Okay. Right, let's get out of here. 7pm. I'm so glad time freezes inside because it goes so fast. Was oh, that Abigail near the gravestone here? Have you decorated your house at all? That's what I'd be doing if I had a house. Yep, you haven't got your own house. You live with your mum and dad. You'll get there one day, Abigail. 
Okay, we're on the beach. We can't pick anything up because we've got no space. But guys, check this out. Look, we can go in the water. We can go for a swim. We can swim wherever we want. If there's any bubbles that we can't reach for fishing, I'm sure we can still do it. Look at this. Hello, Willy. <laughs> Don't mind us. We're just fishing away. Oh, we can actually jump up there. Look at that. How amazing is that? Just swimming around anywhere there's a water source. In ponds, lakes. It's so good to go for a little dip. Cool off in the summer. I love that mod. Okay, let's head back to the farm. It's getting quite late. We're on Fair Haven here. Or is this the vineyard? I've got no space to carry anything. So it's probably best just to get out of here. I don't know if I can go that way. Oh, actually, we could. We could probably go for a swim. To cut across. What do you reckon? Let's try it. Oh, we can. We can swim across. Is it going to work? Oh, no. It's a different area of the map, right? Yeah, it's probably not going to work like that. I do love that mod. It's so good to be back in the modded farm. Okay, we are back on the farm. Let's sell some stuff. And store some things away. What's this making? Why is this making weeds, by the way? What is this? I'm sure it's meant to be a water pump. I'm going to place these back down and see if it works. Because uh, I think that was a little bit broken. Okay, butternut squash seeds. Okay, yeah, that's making something that uh, it shouldn't be. <laughs> we can sort that out next time, though. Okay, a lot of the fruit and veg that we've got has actually turned into seeds. Mainly because, yeah, it's been updated. So we've got carrot seeds, which we can't get until fall. Uh, we can get cactus flowers. We can do that. Butternut squash as well. Uh, habaneros fall, so we can't get any of them. So, yeah, so a lot of stuff did change. But there's nothing we could do about that. Got to put some stuff away because we need it for cooking, right? So let's put some more copper ore on the go. Should we plant some of these seeds down? We should be okay with these. Is it going to work? Eat. Okay, yeah, th these are broken. I'm just going to delete those. All the seeds I'm going to delete and we'll start fresh. Because it's saying we can eat them. So obviously it used to be a fruit or some vegetables. It got changed into a seed. And it's messed things up, so... We don't want to be messing with that. We get some melon seeds there. We'll put those down. They should be working, right? There we go. Okay, so we're in bed. We need to put the fire on, but we need wood. So let's do that. Have we got any in here? Got lots. Oh, yeah, the water mod that we had. Don't seem to be working, as you can see. So uh, we might need to update that. So I'm probably just going to delete that for now. Because if it's not working, there is no point. Now let's go to sleep. That is day one done. It's great to be back. That was weird. It felt so strange, but good at the same time. A lot of things were broken, but that's obviously expected. But at least we still can play on the farm. We'll get there eventually. Why are we walking? For some reason, we are in our underwear. <laughs> and... We need to go swimming to get out, so let's do it. Because it's not letting me press it for some reason. Oh, okay, I was pressing the wrong key. So it's actually K, not J. So there we go. I'm going to water these crops. We can actually buy some new seeds today, which I'll go and do. Because uh, we do need some. I've had to delete so many and trash them because they was broken. Because the seeds mod uh, got updated. So we'll get some new ones today. Because we need to get some money. We've got 6,000. It's not that much. Okay, so I've actually picked up this artist machine by accident. Uh, I don't even know what it does. You can craft arty stuff, but I don't know how it works. I think you just put random things in there, and then it'll like turn it into stuff. So look, for, exa for example, we need one category, one minus tree, whatever that is, and then like it'll turn it into arty stuff, so like paint brushes or things like that. I think that's how it works. I can remember doing it before. But uh, we've got a letter that we can read today. I'm just going to put my watering can away. Give the pets some loving. We need to get some wood, like, really bad as well, because we're using it every single night. Good boy, Freddo. Give all these. We've got hedgehogs and ducks. Or chickens. Are these chickens? Yep, yeah, they are. 
change the way they look. We should have some eggs off you. Just one today, huh? Who's not performing? Oh, uh, sorry, it's down here. Okay, it's okay. Forgive you. Oh yeah, also, there is a mod now that we need to feed, we need to give the animals water, not just uh, food. So I think we need to go to Marnie's Ranch to buy a trough. So I'm gonna go and check that out today. Oh, Fredo's decided to follow us today. This is cool. Come on then, mate. You can come on a journey with us today. Don't get stuck and don't do anything you shouldn't. <laughs> I forgot that the pets, the pets can follow you. Okay, so here's Marnie's Ranch. Let's go and check to see what we need. Because yeah, animals need food and water now, so. Let's have a look. Uh, supplies. Does it work? Okay, maybe not. I'm sure that's a mod that I put in. Maybe it's not working. The heaters are still there, though. I don't know what this is. Bee balm seeds. It's not even got an icon. I think I need to get rid of that. Yeah, I don't think the mod's working for that, but um, that should be uh, a part of one of my new mods. Leah's Cottage is there. So what did we say we are going to do today? It's uh, Jazz's birthday. We're not feeling very lucky. We need to go to the shop and get some more seeds, so let's do that. Oh, we've got a cutscene, hold on. Morris and uh, Mayor Lewis here. I guarantee there is nothing to be worried about, Mayor. But there is Morris. Robin's house was struck by several rocks when the landslide was cleared. Suzanne was shocked by the blast. She wasn't informed of the operation until everything is under control. We'll be fine, Mayor. And what of the garbage Joji dumps into the river, Morris? Willie, our local fisherman, says he's been catching Joji CDs and cola cans. Might I remind you, pursuant to init R27.01, Joji Co. Amendment, Joji's operations here in Stony Valley are fully compliant with the law. Ah, hello, Sharket. I was just on my way. Good day, Morris. Okay, so he wasn't happy about the landslide situation. He's upset a few people. This Morris guy is not good news. Joja is paving a way to greatness in Stardew Valley. Oh, really? It's only a matter of time until we are all united under Joja. Get out of here, Morris. We don't like you. Hold on, we've got another cutscene. Back to back. What is going on here? The dog. This is Dusty, right? What's going on? Oh, he's excited to see us. Look at his cute face. He loves a good pet. Oh, shall we do it? Uh, yeah, come on, let's go for it. Ah, Look at his cute smug face. <laughs> that was a cool little cutscene. Just petting the dog. Why not? And here we go. We've got our own dog to pet here. He's a good boy, Freddo. Oh, yes, he's changed. He doesn't get angry when you che uh, check out the bins anymore. <laughs> Thank God for that. Can you remember that? Oh, we've got a field snack. Cool, cool. Right, so here is Shiko. What's she doing here? Got her sunglasses on. I wonder if I should get a tan. Well, you're not in the right place to get a tan, to be honest. You're in the shade under a tree. Oh, Denver's down here too. What are you doing? Not sure how my uncle wears that heavy cape all the time. I'd get tired of it pretty quickly. Oh, so, yeah, is it, is it Marlon? The guy at the Adventures Guild in here? I think you're related, right? He's your uncle. All right, let's, let's finally go to the shop. So much is happening. Oh, we've got some, a broken bottle piece, which is... Oh my God, who's this? This is a new person. Riley. So what kind of music are you into, Sharket? I like all kinds, but I have a soft spot for pop. I know that's kind of silly. So what do you like as a gift? Common mushroom or sunflower? Okay, let's give you this. You got me a present. Ah, uh, you're not getting sweet on me, are you? Ah, uh, she's cool. What do you think to Riley, guys? So we've got Riley and who's the other one? We met two new people today in this episode so far. They should be down the bottom. So we've got Riley and Delores. That is cool. Oh, and Susan. So we've got three new people today. Here is Pam. Look at her hat on. Oh, hi there, farmer. I don't often chit chat with strangers. Well, make an exception for me then. Oh no, she wasn't happy. <laughs> oh god, sorry Pam. <laughs> oh, here's Soren. Sure, hair is good for keeping cool, but it's still hot if you're standing right in the sun. I guess so, mate. Shall we, uh, shall we give him a gift? Maybe I should get a hat. Maybe you should. Common mushroom. Oh, okay. You know what? We'll give it to you. Hey, thanks. I can definitely make use of this. Enjoy. Oh, look. There's Marlon. He actually walks around now. He doesn't stay in his house. And I'm sure Morris does that as well, which is so good. Guild used to be a lot bigger. Stardew Valley wasn't always as monster-free as it is now. Rasmodius, which is the wizard, played a big part in the security here. 
Unfortunately though, oh, okay, we're just going for a swim. Uh, yeah, the wizard isn't in this town anymore, he's left. The goddess has replaced him. Guys, we still haven't been to the shop. This is what I'm telling you. So much stuff happens in this game now. Hold on, this, oh, the building, look at that. It's cut off the top there. Okay, we might need to sort that out. Another mob that needs fixing. Oh, hello, Lyle. You think Lewis would get angry if I leashed up my girls and brought them into town? He means his chickens. He'd probably throw a fit. Okay, we've got nothing for you, I'm afraid. I might do it just to make him mad. The corners of his eyes crinkle as he laughs. Is this, who's this? Charlie? Okay, well, this, this is a new person. Hey, Sharket. Good day, isn't it? Today, my uncle let me go out a little. Someday, I pass by your farm to see there. People say that it is beautiful. Look how he spelled beautiful. So this is rela is related to Gunther, I believe, at the museum. They are related too. So Denver's related to Marlon, and Charlie is related to Gunther. Oh my god, there's a new oh, everyone's popping here. Oh, Caroline's out with her hat on. I wonder if I can get Pierre to cook dinner tonight. And also, we have got a new person here, Sophia. Look at her. Please, leave me alone. Oh my god. She turns away from you. We've got nothing that she likes. A neutral gift is an egg. Huh, thanks. Okay, well that's a new person we've met as well. Sophia, that everyone's out, out today. We still didn't go to the shop. <laughs> okay, here we go. Everyone's stocking up today. Elliot's in here, Suzanne's in there buying all the supplies. I love it. Um, okay, so let's get some seeds. So we should have some new ones and they should all work now. So we can get some chives. We'll get a few of those. We can get some cotton. What are these? Adzuki beans. Okay, we'll get a few of them, why not? We can get some kiwis, 21 days to grow. Oh, we can get them in fall as well. All right, we'll get a few of them. Lettuces, they only take six days. All right, we'll get 10 of them because uh, they're quite fast. Navy beans, okay, we'll get a few of them. Oreganos, sure, why not? Perillas, what the hell is that? We get some rice, they can be done in fall as well. We get some tea, we can get them spring, summer and fall. Wasabi, okay, we'll get some of them. We're getting some of everything, guys, why not? And uh, yeah, these are all trees now. There's so many different trees and saplings, but we can't really do that, so. Okay, here we go. Lots of new seeds. Everyone's in the shop. It's a busy place now, I love that. Because that would be the normal case. If you went to a store or a shop in real time, there'd be a lot of people there, right? So, I do I do respect that, I love it. Oh, Andy, hello. He's the farmer on Fairhaven. You can always rely on corn for steady and slow profit because it lasts for two seasons, yeah. This is the reason I plant corn during the summer season. Helps me save on those seed expenses. We've not got nothing for you, mate. I need to go back and get some gifts for everybody because yeah, you're running me dry here. Hello, Evelyn. Can't stop to chat, I'm sorry. Although we do need to talk to Olivia. <laughs> Hello, dear, what do you think of my earrings? I ordered these in the mail from Sat 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 Sotin City. She is such a... A posh lady. She likes everything expensive. Oh, should we go to the doctors? See if Paul's in here, the new guy. There he is, look, he's in this room now. So Maru's here. Sorry, I was just thinking about some gadgets I'm making. I've decided I'm going to build a robot someday. That should be very easy for you. You should be more realistic. It sounds challenging. Let's say it should be easy for her. Really? Are you sure you're not just trying to flatter me? Nah, I would never do such a thing, Maru. I've already married you once. Okay, here's Paul. Oh, hey, need to make an appointment? No, I don't. I just want to say hi. So he works in the doctor's, so, you know, he's not alone anymore, Harvey. There's another room here where people can go and check out. Sebastian's in there doing his daily checkup. That's awesome. Okay, let's head to the farm, plant these seeds, and we'll probably do some fishing for the night or something like that. Or maybe go up to the mines. There's a new mine that we can check out. The abandoned one. I believe it's up in, near the boarding house. We've not even been there today. There's so much going on. All right, let's get these in the ground. Why is it not letting me plant the seeds? I don't know what's going on, guys. I have fixed the seeds once, but for some reason, it's just not letting us plant them. Any of the new seeds at all. I'll have to look into that. I'm not sure what's going on, but yeah, the, the seeds we've bought just are not working. We can't get them in the ground. Something is going on. I'll have to look into it. But they're there ready anyway. We can plant them soon. Okay, we've got a sword, we've got a pickaxe. Let's go to the abandoned mine and see, um, check it out. It's a bit late, but you know what? That's good. It's fine. What's this letter here? Potted Summer Spangle. Okay, the Ferngill florists are loving us right now. Oh, we've not met yet. 
you may have seen my brother and his familiar kid here at our stalling town. I'm writing to inform you that from now on, I will be minding the shop on the weekends while Zamir goes into the city to resupply for the week. I'm afraid I'm no, I'm of no use in the kitchen, so instead of the recipes, I plan to sell freshly hunted meats, weapons and blueprints for a variety of different machines. I hope you will find this service useful. I forgot to check this person out, didn't we? But it's summer, so I don't think they're there. Uh, Lewis? Look at this little letter, it looks awesome. Your folks just contacted me to ask about you and I just wanted to make sure you're eating properly. You know how to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, right? It's uh, well, that's it. The name is literally the whole recipe. So I'm sure you can manage that, right? Uh, sure, okay, letter's done. So the new lady who sells recipes and stuff, uh, she's running the shop on her own because, did she say a brother has gone to the town? Or something like that? We'll have to check her out soon, but. I'm sure she closes in summer, so we can't do that just yet. But let's go here. This is the abandoned mine. We've been here in the previous episode, but we didn't go very far because uh, we didn't have much time. Probably like today. But there's lots of like geodes and rocks and stuff that we can get here. Very good for gathering resources. But there is monsters down here, so that's going to be interesting to see them. I wonder if there's any new ones. Okay, the floors are getting a little bit darker now. This is probably where we're going to see them. Every stone here that you hit is the XP ones and you get a lot of stone from them. So it's a good place to gather resources actually. Much needed in this like expansion mod. Ooh, got some sap. Another letter. Uh, another page. It says, I finally managed to find a way to deeper level of the mine. It's unexplored. I hope I don't find any monsters here. Yeah, I think I've read that one before. So there's no progress in this. It's like the school cavern. You just keep going down until you find the, the levels. And it resets every time you come down. There's another letter over there. Let's go and read that. I forgot. The time is actually frozen in the mines. So we'd actually have to worry about that. That's kind of cheating. But uh, you know what? That's all right. Just for the video's sake. Uh, scientific notes. At lower levels, we can find a variety of minerals and mushrooms. But be aware. Some monsters seem to live in this level. Okay. So is that deeper from the here? Oh. Okay, so what's down here then? We've got some crystal fruit. Earth crystals. What's the hunger on? 35. We're okay, we're okay. Don't see no monsters yet. I've turned the freeze time off, just so it's a bit more realistic when we're in the, in the mines. We've got frozen tier, miners tree. Look at all this good stuff here. We're safe though. There's no monsters yet. We've got lots of copper ore. Crystal fruit again, and also another ladder. Let's keep going down. Oh, another page. It says I found a deep level. This one is hot. Yes, I wonder what we'll find here. So we've had a frozen floor. We've got a, hot, a lava floor here. There's no monsters though. Okay, look at this floor. Oh my god. Laura, I found a stairway. I'm getting closer. I wonder what's going to be down here. What's going to be the bottom? I think maybe there should be monsters here. We've got a diamond and an amethyst. But maybe they're just not working. But I'm sure there should be some creatures down here that we should be fighting. It shouldn't be this easy. Because this is OP. Free loot and nobody to fight us for it. Oh my god. Who's this? Gregory. Are you real? Is that a shrine of Yoba? That's, that's why there's no monsters. They've already been took out. This is the guy who's making the letters. Sorry for being weird. It's been such a long time since I've made... I've seen a human face. The name's Gregory. I have some good stored if you want to purchase anything. Just come to my, uh... Tent. Well, if you want to get there faster, you can always use the minecarts. Okay, look at that. We've unlocked the minecart. Don't worry. They're not broken or anything. So he sells some goods. Okay. That's pretty cool. So he lives down here. By the way, don't remove the amulet that is in the shrine. If you do so, you won't be able to leave these mines. Okay. Well, let's not mess with that then. There's another letter here as well. And yeah, we'll go and check his place out. This is cool. So we've met Gregory. Is that another person? Will he be on the social tab? Yes, yeah, so he's there. and he's a ma You can actually marry him as well. Same with Charlie and Delores, Sophia, Riley. They're all marriageable, which is crazy. So uh, another page, it says, Laura, I finally found what I was looking for, the Lost Valley. Here, I encountered a lot of fossil fish. 
and rare ancient fruits. I know that you are no longer here, but writing to you is what keeps me sane. With love, Gregory. So I wonder who Laura is. You feel a powerful calming aura and mantin from an amulet within the shrine. So he's found a lost valley. Look at this place. Holy smokes. This is crazy. Wow. There's a tent there. There's some uh, mushrooms that you can forage for. What is these? What What is that? Small skull inside of it. This is weird. Lots of red mushrooms though. We're gonna make so much money from all this. These are weird flowers. So that's blocked off that way. We're gonna need to upgrade our axe to get further that way. It looks like it was fed recently. So these have been fed? You're almost bitten. Why are they so big? So let's go in the tent and speak to him and see what he's, uh, what he's got to sell. Here he is. We can get a warp totem back to the farm. So he needs uh, a coffee for that. He's got ancient seeds. 15 goat cheese you can get one. And dinosaur eggs too. And ancient fruit. This is awesome. So he sells so like all the ancient stuff. I love that. That's insane. Feel free to collect anything you want from the valley. The last page of Gregory's journal. Dear Laura, these caves first were inhabited by monsters. I fought my way through until I finally reached the valley. As suspected, there was a, a Yoba shrine over here. Once the blessed amulet was placed inside of it, a barrier expelled remaining monsters. I will be living here because I know you are watching over me. This way, I can assure your dream is fulfilled even after you passed away with lo love, Gregory. So they was uh, like married or girlfriend and boyfriend and Laura passed away. They wanted to get to this lost valley, they found it. We can explore more eventually, but wow. Can we actually swim down here? This place is crazy. So there's lots of ancient stuff down here. Well, that was fun. That's the abandoned mine. We can actually get there from the car, so let's check it out. Is it broke? Oh no, it takes us, where does this take us to? Oh, right at the entrance. That is awesome. I love that. So buying ancient seeds and dinosaur eggs, rather than farming for them, if you've got the resources, uh, that's handy. So let's get back to the farm and let's wrap this up. That is pretty awesome what we've done today. Spoke to a lot of new people. Finally back into the modded playthrough. Hopefully you guys are enjoying it. There's a few things I need to fix and repair because like, I can't even plant seeds. I don't know what's happened. Uh, there's something gone wrong with the seeds there. Maybe once all these are farmed and harvested, we can sort that out. Are these actually working as well, by the way? I hope these are actually growing. Although we do need to water these. So I will do that and then we'll go to bed. And look how much mushrooms we got. Holy smokes. We got so much good stuff. We got a diamond, some amethyst, lots of ore, frozen tears, some crystals. A miner's tree, very good for eating. That's gonna be good to, to use for food. Oh, a person's hungry. You know what? We're going to have to eat one of these managed streets right away. Nearly took us to the top. We had a speed buff there. That wasn't good. Oh, I forgot to gather wood today. We need to start getting some of this. This fire is going to become an issue. And let's sleep. Oh, look how much money we made for the red mushrooms. Holy crap. I'll take that. Fina, Mitzer and Kutz... Chutsley were left first yesterday, so we do have to water them. How do I get the, uh, do I have to craft them? I'm not sure how we water them. I wonder if we could just put the watering can inside the, the little bowls that they've got. They're not going to be happy with us if we don't do that. Oh, the hedgehogs found us some of those though. Oh, there we go. We put water in there. Okay, that's cool. So I think that's what we can do. And once we upgrade these, obviously they, they get a bigger trough. So that's probably what it is. And then you put water in there. And uh, as you can see, they get a bit happier. And they'll give us what they need. So there we go. Now, I was just quickly checking to see if these seeds are actually growing before we wrap up the episode. Yes, tomatoes, seven days. They took eight. So once these are grown, oh, the wheat's done. So they are working, the old seeds. But for some reason, the new ones just aren't wanting to plant. But I will get that fixed. And I'm going to wrap that episode up right there. That has been the modded playthrough with Sharkette again. But this time, 1.4 version has been updated. We've got some of the new features from that as well. And loads of more content to check out. 
Hopefully you guys are excited for this to be back. We're going to be playing this up until 1.5 gets released. I'll put as many episodes as I can out. We'll try and get through this as much as we can. Get Mary and the new NPC. Seeing all the new uh, heart events and festivals, etc. And just check out this completely modded playthrough. So if you did enjoy, hit the like button, subscribe to see more. And yeah, until then, I'll see you on the next episode. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay safe, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye. Up to me.